This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Computer Science 2, Python version. I'm on level 27, backwards, fork. Goal, defeat the ogres. A function is an important concept when writing code. They are used to separate individual, individual repeatable parts of your code into easier to digest pieces. Oftentimes, a function requires an argument. This is a way to customize a repeatable action while still optimizing and cutting down the length of one's code. Don't be freaked out. There's a lot of technical words here I'm going to help. This is what you put between the parentheses when calling the function. A parameter is what a potential argument is called inside the function definition. Oof, I don't like how they're wording this. Um, all right, so again, don't be scared. What all of that means is, hey, this is the parameter, right? And this targets the parameter, okay? Now, if I make target enemy, that is the... If I made the parameter enemy, right, instead of just equal to my definition target, that is an argument. That sounds super confusing. I'm going to walk through it more. You'll get the hang of it. Let's see what we're doing here. All right, so... Move to the, okay, easy enough at first. Move to the bottom X mark. Bottom X mark. This one, I assume. Uh, so I'm, I think it's 58, 16. So X, yep, that's what I want. Move to that, 58, 16, I think. Hopefully. Okay, create a variable named bottom enemy, all right, and find the nearest enemy. So that just means bottom enemy equals find oh we well have to type it hero dot find oh good find nearest enemy click and there okay i'm gonna get rid of this comment because i've already followed it and i'm gonna get rid of this comment i don't need that either okay oh is this all ah i believe i'm gonna hit Control z just to check something yeah, I'm thinking they want all this to be together. I hit Control Z to undo, Control Shift Z to redo. All right, use the check and attack function and include the bottom enemy variable. So here's check and attack. What this does when we run check and attack, I'm going to get rid of the comments. When we run check and attack, it drops in. And first we do is check if target exists. Well, what's target? Target is whatever we pass, whatever we put in the parentheses. So when I do bottom enemy and I put my, oh wait, when I run or call check and attack and I put my bottom enemy variable into this, this bottom enemy variable, right? What's that equal? Oh, hero, look around and find the nearest enemy. Then set that equal to bottom enemy. If the hero looks around and finds no one, bottom enemy equals no one. But if there is an enemy, that would equal the enemy. Then down here, we say, okay, run check and attack, and bottom enemy is who we're looking for. So then the computer says check and attack. Well, where's that? Whoop, boom. Oh, okay. Check and attack. So who's our target? Um... Well, our target's bottom enemy. So if bottom enemy, okay, if bottom enemy is something, if our hero found something, then attack, right? And then it drops down. If this is false, it would skip the code here. But regardless, even if it's true or false, it will run hero move to 4334, which is probably back to the starting point. And then our wall loop hits the bottom and repeats, okay? So let's go ahead and try it. So that's the code that worked for me. Moving on.